morning, I'm Brian Kylaver. I'm the Buchanan County Engineer. And so as my role in the project is, I take it from the start to the finish. So even back to the need of replacing. So what was the old bridge that I was replacing? I was replacing a bridge originally constructed in 1928 and rehabbed in 1956. My name is Gary Wish. I'm the chief engineer at DeLong's Incorporated. Uh, DeLong's was the structural steel fabricator for this project. The structural steel that we provided is all hot dip galvanized. Uh, that includes the, the main beams, the cross frames, the splice plates, and the bearings. Uh, believe it or not, the only thing that was unique about it was the fact that it was galvanized. Uh, it was very well designed. It, it's a clean and easy to fabricate project and a clean and easy to galvanize project. So uh, there were no, we, we ran into no complications along the way. It went very well. Uh, from a fabrication standpoint, it fabricates just as easily as any of the other products that we make and, and so we have no problems with it at all. We're happy to be involved in this kind of project. So on this, on this Buffalo Creek Bridge, you've got the H piling that are galvanized. You've got the rebar in the piers that are galvanized. You've got the steel beams that are all galvanized and the drains that are galvanized. The deck is all galvanized rebar in the deck and the barrier rail system on this bridge is all galvanized and coated. By galvanizing and coating the H piling, which is not the standard, uh, we saved several weeks of work for the contractor because they don't have to build coffer dams. As it turned out last fall, we had three floods of approximately 50 year designs where the water was up around the I mean, pier caps. And we had to wait for the water to go back down to do any work. Well, if we had to try and build coffer dams, they, they could not have continued to dewater their coffer dams and rebuild them to be able to get in and actually get this construction done. On the galvanizing on the beams, it again appears to be the best long-term performance. And here in Buchanan County, we've had some very long-term performing bridges. I've replaced a steel bridge from 1870 another steel bridge from 1872, and another steel bridge, river crossings on both those from 1875. We're really looking for long-term performance is why we chose galvanized. And even on the rebar, we know that we've got some rebar that's corroding out in some of the other cases. And the state of Iowa is looking at and is using on some of their bigger bridges to use stainless steel. We're seeing galvanized as a more economical option in there that'll still give us long-term performance on some of these bridges. Sustainability is key here in Buchanan County, and so we need something that with a long-term performance, and, and hot dip galvanizing clearly demonstrates that it's capable of providing us with long-term performance. Many of our bridges are old here in Buchanan County, and with 259 county bridges that I'm responsible for, I need to be doing the best I can for long-term performance. We've got a beautiful final product and you can see it right behind me. And it will, I have absolutely no doubts, it will last a long, long time.